Well, this is the inaugural Maker Faire that came about because ASU was one of the signatories. President Crow signed the letter to President Obama last summer that said ASU is committed to fostering the next generation of makers. And then we had been in process of building this Chandler Innovation Center with Tech Shop as a partner. This is about people making things for fun. And so think of self-directed, self-guided, learning for fun and on purpose to get a project done as opposed to doing a contrived project in class because a teacher told you to. When I think about making, to me it comes down to practical ingenuity and how do you support that kind of development in an individual, in a student, and then prepare them to, for, for, the, for what's next. I have a lot of engineering students who, I, and I don't think I'm, I'm training them for their first job, right? I think I'm helping them develop as a whole person and be able to go follow whatever their interests are um, after they graduate. Tech Shop is a membership-based fabrication studio, but it's completely open access. So that means anybody 16 years old or older can come in, learn how to use the tools, and begin working on their projects. So what we're seeing in these spaces, this amazing diversity and mix of people across multiple disciplines working together on their particular projects. And that's magical, because when you have access to a computer numerically controlled mill for the first time, and have a community of people who can support you in learning how to use it and make your projects, the sky is the limit as far as what you can make. One of the greatest things about the maker movement and getting involved in making is the community. It's all about sharing ideas and projects and helping each other, um, so that's a huge benefit to it and something that I've gained um, you know doing making. I think it's a rebirth of people's interest in making things with their own hands and not just solving problems, not just doing everything on a computer. And the real question is how can we use that where there is a clear compelling drive of kids of all age including the young at heart to make things? How do you use that as a way to teach instead of teaching from a book? I don't learn well in a lecture-based environment, in a theoretical environment. I just don't think that way. Um, so I'm learning skills that translate to actually learning things that you're supposed to learn in the classroom and, you know, in a lecture-based environment. The maker movement is infusing ASU in that uh, it is changing what students do in maker spaces. It's not just about class projects. They're making things, they're starting businesses. And so our hope is that people exchange ideas, People take this further, keep the conversation going, go visit each other, learn from each other, and change education.